This is Late Night Help. This is the radio show that cares about the most important part of your life, your health. During the next two hours, we're going to take a look at some topics that really reach out and grab each one of us, especially those of us over maybe the age of 45 or 50. Uh, During the second part of our show, during hour number two, we're going to explore uh, new horizons and opportunities for those 50 plus. Uh, We're also going to talk with Ava and Alfredo. We're going to be talking about a new network, uh, Mandala.com. And this is a social network designed to help make the world a better place. There's music on it. There's meditation. There's help. And I'm really looking forward to spending some time with uh, the uh, co-founders of uh, of that network. Uh, during this hour, uh, of course, Robert Clancy will be joining us, and we're also going to be talking about the stem cell revolution with uh, Joseph Cristiano. Uh, we're going to begin here on Late Night Health with uh, our friend from the SOAR Community Network. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. During the next two hours, we are jam-packed with information that you need that we hope you need (laughs) uh, that uh, will make your life easier and better. We go to um, the East Coast. We go to a suburb of Washington, D.C., and Molly Von Padeth will be joining us right now from the SOAR Community Network, a regular here on Late Night Health. It's been too long. Hello, Molly. Hello. Thank you for having me again. Our, Our pleasure. You asked to be a regular. I said, just let me know when you want to come on. I I have to find her, and, you know, it's okay, I understand. Uh, (laughs) As as we're in the middle of the first quarter of 2018, how is this year shaping up in general for, for people, do you think? I think in general in the economy, I think there's a a mixed feeling, especially in the business community. You know, there's some positive things that are happening in terms of policies, but there are also some um, not-so-positive things that people are discussing and wondering, especially in, like I said, that small, rapidly growing market where they're just unsure Things sometimes look good one day, and then the market is, you know, doing the opposite the next day. So there's some volatility, there's some concerns, and and people are just kind of bracing for whatever that next pivot looks like, whether it's in the market or in their workforce. You know, so much is happening all at once that as business leaders and business owners, it's sometimes really hard to navigate. Absolutely. And would you agree that the backbone of America is still those small and medium businesses rather than major corporations? Yes, I do believe that, and I really do believe that it's not just in the United States. I believe that it's the global uh, workforce is really driven, and, and I think it's a good thing, positive thing, driven by the innovation, by the passion, and by the intention of these leaders in that particular market. You know, the ideas are fresh. People still really want to start something that they believe is going to impact the world in a positive way for the most part, not just about profit these days when you're talking to a lot of the new upcoming progressive leaders. And that inspires me. And that's why you started the SOAR Community Network, uh, soaring above everybody else to uh, help make the world a better place and maybe make a little bit of money at the same time? Yes, and, and more importantly, soaring so that others can soar with us because that's what it's required these days. I think from a, a mental health, emotional, financial health, all of those things, I think it's important that we as a community, it's time to reach out. And it's not about political parties. It's about what are we doing collectively to create, to make lives better through our products and services. And I think that's really important to remember in the midst of this, you know, the the world today around politics and around policies and around just things that are dictating the direction of of our government 
at the end of the day, people go to work, people need to have salaries, they need to feed their families. And so I remind uh, business leaders when we work with them and we, you know, host our retreats and workshops is that we really have to think about what our impact is on a day-to-day. What are we doing? Let's focus. Let's stay focused so that we don't get off, off track because there's so much noise in the world. How do you block that noise or do you embrace it? I mean, how does somebody who's, you know, they get up, they, they, they have their own business, they're stressed because they want to sell their product or service, but there's that clutter that's always there. I mean, the news is, unfortunately, a lot of negativity. The, the, the focus on the the guy who's 16 years old who raises uh, uh, millions of dollars for a charity, that's not covered as much. But the gun shooting done by a 16-year-old girl last week, or se- I think she was 16 or 17, that's what makes the news. I don't get it. Well, and I'm, I'm not sure how other business owners and business leaders manage this, but my personal preference is to, is, and when it comes to the news, to get the highlights, you know, read the headlines, uh, but don't dive deep into all the details of every story. And the reason why I say even read the headlines is because as business leaders, we do have to understand the world around us. We do have to um, uh, know that there are things that are happening, uh, but to really get into even watching the news and reading every single detail that's out there, uh, it really shifts your energy. It shifts your mindset. It shifts you emotionally. It zaps your energy, and you can't be your full self to go and do the work and lead people and empower them and inspire them if you're so distressed because of all the external stuff that now is seeping into your system, um, it's not good for your mindset, number one, and it's certainly not good for your team, your partners, and your clients or consumers. And so it's really important to prioritize uh, what, what value we get to bring, and we get to choose that every day. What can I allow into my mind, body, spirit, heart, so that when I'm speaking and presenting and showing up, that it still allows people that sense of inspiration and hope because we need that more than ever. And it's Absolutely. not about being naive. It's not about not knowing what's going on, but it's about choosing how we want to show up and react to the things that are outside of our control sometimes. And the word you used, hope, I think is really important because when you lose hope, you can you can lose health, mental health, physical health. And when you lose love, love of living, love of yourself, you also can react negatively in mind, body, spirit. I would agree with that. Right? Yeah. Uh, coming up uh, a little bit later in this hour, uh, closing the hour, uh, will be Robert Clancy. I know he's one of your favorite people, the author yes, of yes. Soul Ciphers. Uh, I think he rocked the SOAR convention um, last November. Absolutely. Yeah, he was one of our favorite speakers. Yeah, he's a great speaker. Uh, He's going to be talking about surrender today here on Late Night Health. Uh, I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne from the SOAR Community Network, uh, Mali uh, uh, Von Padeth, um, and her story has been told numerous times. I'd like to just get a, a very brief overview again. You came to this country as a young kid uh, and soared. Can you tell us that real quickly? Well, the brief story is that um, I'm a child refugee of war. I came here from Laos when I was just uh, five years old with my family who had escaped, uh, escaped the civil unrest that was taking place inside Laos after the Vietnam War had ended. Um, And that was really the beginning of my journey to uh, the United States of America. And now having a life where you look back and realize, wow, was that my life? Was that my family's life? Do we experience all that? And how has that shaped me into 
the woman that I am today into the business leader and the community advocate that I continue to desire to be the best version of. Um, and it just tells me a story about so many people, uh, not just in the U.S., but around the world, who have hope and faith and have a deep passion to, you know, to create a life that's with purpose and intention. So it's a really brief, you know, way of saying that we have choices in life to allow the past and where we came from to dictate where we're going and or to basically remind ourselves that our past is what actually propels us to the best version of self if we allow it to be. So victimhood versus warrior and survivor. Got it. A Do we, survivor, survivor. Absolutely. <laughs> and there's a TV show by that name, too. Uh, and maybe they've... Uh, Daryl, have they done one in Laos? <laughs> Not that I know. Okay, just curious. <laughs> Daryl's a big fan. Uh, our guest, uh, Molly Fon, uh, Pattis from the uh, SOAR Community Network. We're going to take some time out. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation. I want to know if looking back at our past is a way of looking forward at our future. We'll pick that up as Late Night Health continues. Join us at LateNightHealth.com, LateNightHealth.com, Facebook.com, slash LateNightHealthRadio, and, of course, visit uh, Molly at SoarCommunityNetwork.com. Don't go away. We've got lots more coming up with the insane Daryl Wayne and Mark Allen as Late Night Health takes to the air. Late Night Health is proud of our partnership with the EBC, the Evolutionary Business Council. Check them out at ebcouncil.com. Your soul has the ability to warm even the coldest of hearts. Your beauty is a starlit night raining down upon the darkness. Yes, you're love and you're that light. All you have to do is share everything that's in your heart and share that smile. If you're hardened and your heart is not open, let it become a diamond. A diamond can only reveal its true beauty after it's been cut many times. Those facets not only hold the light, they reflect it to all those around them. Today is your day to shine that light. For more inspiration from Robert Clancy, visit GuideToTheSoul.com or go to the Moments with Robert page on LateNightHealth.com. Want to generate more leads for your business? How about building a stronger social media following and better brand credibility to help increase your closing ratio? At Easy Way Promotions, we can help you to stop doing it the hard way and start doing business the easy way. With a billion-dollar relationship equity, a digital reach of 100 million plus, and over 18 years of business experience with entertainment and nonprofit, Easy Way Promotions is sure to boost your business. On March 24th at 5 p.m., come join us at the Business Expo Center in Orange County near Anaheim Convention Center. We're celebrating host and social media mogul Eric Zuli's birthday with a benefit, supporting American Cancer Society. Come hang with over 30 celebrities and influencers, over 20 red carpet media outlets, and enjoy some amazing food and drink with a celebrity chef. For more info or to RSVP, call 877-399-2929 or download our free mobile app at easywaymobile.com. That's letter E, letter Z, W-A-Y. We'll see you there. This message brought to you by safesolutionsnow.com. <laughs> 